Meet the polymer queen, Stephanie Kwalek. She's one of the big women in science and her work gave us one of the strongest materials on Earth today, one that has helped save thousands of lives. She stood out at a time when women weren't heard or seen, especially in the world of scientific discovery, and that makes her achievement all the more remarkable. So, what's her story? Stephanie Kwalek was born in 1923 to Polish immigrant parents in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. She was a clever, hard-working little girl, and even in her first school, she was way ahead of her classmates. She got her love of science from her father, John. As a child, she would often accompany him on days out in the forest near her home, exploring the natural world, collecting plants and watching woodland animals. From her mother, Nellie, who was a seamstress, she learnt about sewing, fabrics and fashion, spending wet afternoons watching her mother stitch and repair clothing. But the pull of science was stronger, and when she left school, she went to college and studied chemistry. In 1946, as she left university, she was offered a job at DuPont, a large chemical company with a string of exciting inventions to its name. DuPont was responsible for innovative textiles like the waterproof fabric neoprene, most often seen in wetsuits, but with many industrial uses. And the life-changing nylon, which, among other things, gave women stockings for the first time ever. Where would fitness clothing be without lycra, the breathable, stretchy material we all wear today? And polyester, the light, tough cloth that doesn't need ironing. This was 1946. The Second World War had ended a few months earlier and most men were still returning from the war. That gave women like Stephanie a chance to make their mark and she was welcomed into DuPont. Her plan was to earn money to study medicine, but soon she found her work on polymers way too interesting to give up. And after all, the job combined her love of science and of fabric. So, what's a polymer? Polymers are large chains of molecules. The word comes from the Greek, poly meaning many, and mer means parts. What are those many parts? Polymers are made up of monomers, atoms or smaller molecules chemically bonded together to form a chain. That chain is a polymer. Polymers are found in the natural world. Things like wool, silk, cotton, rubber and even your hair are all polymers. But you can make polymers in a lab. Polyester like clothes. Polythene is what plastic bags and bottles are made of. Nylon, lycra and man-made rubber. What's so great about polymers? Well, they have lots of uses because some can bend and stretch, like rubber and polyester, and some are rigid and hard, like acrylic and polystyrene. But let's get back to Stephanie Kwalek and see what she was doing. She developed the nylon rope trick, which demonstrates how synthetic polymers are made. A strand of nylon rope can be pulled out of a beaker containing a solution of two liquid chemicals. By now it was 1964 and Stephanie Kwalek was searching for a strong new material to use in car tyres. Steel wire was normally used to make tyres tougher, but it made the tyres heavy and the cars used more gas. With a petrol shortage expected, a replacement was needed urgently and Stephanie Kwalek set to work. With repeated experiments and lots of patience, Stephanie Kwalek looked for the answer. At the time, she was working with two polymers with almost unpronounceable names. Mixed together, they formed a solution that was treated at hot temperatures to make fibres. Stephanie's idea was to treat them at a much cooler temperature. But the solution came out thin and milky, not clear and thick like nylon polymer. But she didn't throw it away. She persuaded the lab technician to run it through his spinneret. He thought it would clog the filter. A spinneret is a bit like a sieve, 
and it's used to make polymer fibres. The polymer is heated and pushed through the spinneret and the fibres are extruded or forced out. Then you can weave them into fabrics. The fibres created from this solution were the strongest anyone had ever seen. This new fabric was named Kevlar and it's five times stronger than steel. It's light and heat resistant and its strength makes it useful for dozens of applications. Boats, aeroplanes, parachute cables, tennis rackets, skis, bulletproof vests. Kevlar bulletproof vests have revolutionised safety in the military and in law enforcement and to date thousands of lives have been saved by Stephanie Kwalek's invention. She continued to work at DuPont until she retired and was widely acknowledged for her important contribution. And looking back on her life, she also had wise advice for the next generation. I think you have to inspire young people to believe in themselves and not to fear thinking differently. So let's hear it for Stephanie Qualley. <laughs>